In this video, let us discuss how to calculate pre-construction interest. Before calculating pre-construction interest, you should have an understanding of what is pre-construction period. Pre-construction period is the period during which the property was under construction. Uh, for example, the individual has started to construct his property on Jan 2020 and the property cannot be completed immediately. There, it may require some time. For example, the property was completed on Feb 2021. He started on Jan 2020 and he completed the property on Feb 2021. So here the pre-construction period is one year, one month. The period during which the property was under construction is called as pre-construction period. Then what is pre-construction interest? Uh, say the assessee has taken a loan to build his property. The interest that he has paid during this pre-construction period is called as pre-construction interest. So it is very simple. The period during which the house was under construction is pre-construction period and the interest that has been paid on the loan amount borrowed, that interest is called as pre-construction interest. Okay, this pre-construction interest uh, could not be claimed by the SSE during the pre-construction period because in this period, the SSE did not have any income. He did not receive any rent from the property. So during the period, he would have not claimed the pre-construction interest. So, after the completion of the property is over, the SSE can claim the pre-construction interest for a period of 5 years from the date of completion. That is, as soon after the construction is over, the pre-construction interest can be claimed for a period of 5 years from the date of completion. From this date, he can claim for 5 years. So, how to calculate this pre-construction interest? Before going to calculating pre-construction interest, you have to first identify whether there is pre-construction interest in the problem. How to identify? If in a question, the date of loan and date of completion, if both the dates are given, you have to calculate pre-construction interest. That is the date on which the loan has been borrowed and the date on which the construction of the property was completed. If it is given, you have to calculate pre-construction interest. Then you have to calculate the pre-construction period and five-year period from the date of completion. Finally, you have to calculate pre-construction interest. Let us see how to calculate these steps one. So to understand how to calculate the pre-construction interest, I have taken a small problem. Mr. A has taken a loan for rupees 2 lakhs at 12 percentage per annum interest on 1 4 2015 to construct his house property. The construction was completed on June 2017 and he lets out his property for a monthly rent of rupees 7000. So, with this information, we have to calculate the pre construction interest. As I already told you, we have to start our calculation with the date of loan, date of completion. Only if these two dates are given in the question, we have pre-construction interest. So look for these dates. It is given that the loan was taken on 1-4-2015. So I'm writing the date of loan. And the construction was completed on June 2017. So the date of completing the house is also given. We have date of loan, date of completion. Now we have to calculate pre-construction period. How to calculate pre-construction period? Or what is the first date in the pre-construction period? It is the date of loan. Whatever is the date of loan, that is the first date in the pre-construction period. So I have written the first date and I have to close this. If I have to close this year, we all know that 31st March is the closing date of our previous year. The previous year ends on 31st March. So, I am closing it on the next March. 1-4-2015 is my first day. This date will end on 31-3, the next March, 31-3-2016. After writing the first year, check with the date of completion. Will the date of completion fall within this period? In this case, the date of completion is June 2017. And the period is 15-16. So, the answer is no. 
If your answer is no, write the next year. Then in the next year period, you compare whether this date of completion will fall in between. No, in this case also, June 2017 will not fall in between this period. So write the next year. Check with the date of completion. In this case, the date of completion will fall in between this period. So the answer is yes. In the first two cases, the answer is no. In the first two years, the answer is no. The date of completion did not fall within this period. But in the third year, the date of completion falls between this period. So we are striking it off. I have striken off that year. Now these two years are the pre-construction period. See in the first year it starts from 1-4-2015 and it is closing on 31-3-2016. So how many months we have? We have 12 months. 12 months means we can take it as one year. The second year also it starts on 1-4-2016 and it is closing on 31-3-2017. So we have a 12 month period. I am taking it as one year. So the total pre-construction period is 2 years, 1 plus 1, 2 years is the total pre-construction period. After calculating the pre-construction period, you have to calculate the 5-year period from the date of completion. So how to calculate this 5-year period? It is very, very simple. The year that we have striken off here, the striken off year will be the first year in the 5-year period. So I have taken the the year 1-4-2017 to 31-3-2018. This is the year which I have striken off. So I have taken the year. This is the first year. After writing the first year, you have to write the remaining four years. Very simple. Consecutive years. After writing the first year, the consecutive four years we have written. So totally five year period. After writing the five year period, you have to check whether your previous year falls within this five year period. Now I am working for assessment year 21-22. If my assessment year is 21-22, my previous year will be 1422-313-2021. So my previous year falls within the 5 year period. If my previous year does not fall within the 5 year period, I cannot claim pre-construction interest. Since in this case my previous year falls within the 5 year period, I can claim pre-construction interest. So we will proceed to calculate pre-construction interest. This is the formula. Amount of loan into rate of interest into pre-construction period into 1 by 5. We are substituting values. Amount of loan. See in the question the loan amount is 2 lakhs. Rate of interest is 12 percentage. Pre-construction period we have calculated. See we have calculated 2 years as the pre-construction period. So I am writing it at 2 years and 1 by 5. Why am I doing 1 by 5? That is the pre-construction interest can be claimed for 5 subsequent years. Not as a single installment it can be claimed for 5 subsequent years. So I am calculating how much for the current previous year. So I am doing it as 1 by 5. So the answer that I get is 9600. This is the pre-construction interest. So pre-construction interest is a very simple calculation only. If you uh, work it out in this step-by-step -step process, it will be very easy for you. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.